Good morning, happy travelers. Today is our last day here at the Hilton Waikoloa Village. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Today we're just going to be hanging out at the resort and trying to soak up the last little bit of the Hawaiian vibes before we have to leave. Hilton has been nice enough to invite us to the luau tonight, so that is going to be really awesome. We're looking forward to that. But as far as today goes, I think we're just going to hang out by the pools. The property here is huge. It's like 65 acres, so there's tons of things to do. Yeah, I feel like we didn't really do a great job of showing you around, so we're gonna do a little bit more showing you some of the little cute corners. There's two pools, a saltwater lagoon, waterfalls, all kinds of places. We are just taking a scenic walk around the saltwater lagoon. We've already seen lots of cute little fishies. This lagoon is really cool. We were seeing all kinds of critters in here and we saw a sea turtle. He came up and stuck his head up and we watched him for a little while. If you've seen our past videos, you know how crazy about wildlife I am. I think we're just gonna continue around the lagoon and then maybe get a chair, I'm not sure. But I'm kind of just enjoying this little walking tour. As you're walking around the path that surrounds the lagoon, you come across the section where you walk underneath the waterfall. As they say in Disneyland, it's the backside of water. I think all that walking has tired us out. <laughs> we're going to hang out in one of these day beds again. These are available for rent. You can get them for the whole day until 10 p.m. It's kind of crazy. So we actually did a little bit of just laying and doing nothing, which is completely out of character for us and we really could only stand it for about half an hour. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be back doing that more, but we're going for a change of scenery now. We were facing the ocean with the waves, and now we're gonna be facing the pool. We are going to the large Kona pool, which I guess is the main pool because it's gigantic. And then right here, it's like a beach slash pool, so they've got the lagoon, which is salt water and fed by the ocean, so you have critters in there. And then you have the ocean, which you can't really go swimming in there because it's like all lava rock. And then you have your standard, you know, resort pools. And then you have the pool that has the sandy bottom. So there's something for everyone here at Hilton Waikoloa Village. So this resort was originally built by Disney in the 80s and you can really really tell that it was built by Disney. Along with the tram that goes around there's also uh, boats, there's like a canal that goes around the whole property so you can get from place to place using those. That's totally a Disney thing and then the tram is like a dead ringer for the monorail at Disneyland or Disney World. The Kona pool is pretty insane, it's huge. It's got tons of bridges over it and there's like this whole waterfall like cave area where you can swim underneath the waterfalls and go in the cave and it's really cool. It's definitely built up. The Disney inspiration is definitely there. It totally makes sense when you see the design of everything. <laughs> All good to go? All right, cool, thank you. Now 
we're going from the pool back to our cabana. So we're back over here at the lagoon and the beach shack by the lagoon has all of these different rentals that you can take out. They have kayaks, they have paddle boards. The one that really caught our attention was called an aqua cycle, which is this crazy big pedal powered bicycle. Tricycle. Tricycle, sorry. The, the dumbest looking thing you've ever seen. In yeah, your life. It, it, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> so we're gonna go and take one of those aqua cycles out right now. already running over something. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, this <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo! We go this way? Okay. Let's go find the turtles. Like the queen driving by. Thank you for being here today. We headed back to our room for a quick shower and then it was time to make our way to the luau. All right, we'll go for a Mai Tai, please. Thank you. Made it to the Luau grounds. Yay! So Kevin was the first in line, so we are front and center. I don't think we could get any closer to the stage, but we've got ourselves a couple of drinks, and I guess here they could fit like 700 people. But because of COVID, it's more like 200 now. All the tables are, you know, at least six feet apart. Everyone has their own table. They're not packed together. I'm not sure how they're gonna do the food, but I guess we'll see. So far they brought us an appetizer of uh, purple sweet potato chips with onion dip. Haven't tried that yet, but it looks good. I'm excited. We've gotten all of our food. Everything looks really, really tasty. What do you think? We got a present. <laughs> I think this is part of dessert. They didn't tell us what it was. What a show. So we were very fortunate that Hilton gave us a late checkout. After the luau, we were able to come back to our room and because of the tram schedule, we have like about 20 minutes until we have to get the heck out of this room. I'm so sad. It was a great trip, but unfortunately we have to head to the airport now and head home. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Please subscribe, drop a comment and hit that thumbs up. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out.
We're back at the airport. Woo -woo. Today we're gonna be flying to the Virgin Islands. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do we look super cool? <laughs> <laughs>